Hey, um, so we're watching a video real quick, you know what I'm saying? Um, I won $28 million in the lottery. Ask me anything. I don't care if anyone's seen this already. Uh, you're watching it again. Let's watch. So, we've got... Yeah. Hey, good humans. Milky here. Okay, and respectfully, Timmy. I don't care. Timmy. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Ew! Hold on. Wish designs for an everyday sneaker of Bro. any season. Bro. Kanye West did not die for that. I mean, well, Kanye West didn't lose his career for this with Adidas. This is crazy. What is what is this? Those shoes are so ugly. Okay. Oh shoot. Feed check now. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> like, ah! That, it, I don't know. <laughs> That's, that's, I'm not doing it justice. It wasn't that, it wasn't that. If you were alone in a room with someone who won the lottery, what would you ask? I wouldn't ask them anything, I'd rob them. What was the first thing <laughs> you bought when you won the lottery? Have you felt taken advantage of by friends or relatives? Do you think that winning the lottery has like exponentially like added to your happiness? I think that, <sighs> Never mind. Uh, hi, I'm Andrew. Nice to meet you. Hi, Andrew. I'm, I'm Timothy. Nice to meet you. Yep. Yeah. Why are you so awkward? What's up, big ballin' boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is that was disgusting. <laughs> What's cracking? <laughs> hey. Oh my goodness. He gotta be like 30. Absolutely. How you doing? Dude, I'm doing good, bro. I need him to tone it down. It's deep. Tone it, it down. How much was it, man? We want to know. Huh? Is he okay? I was really about to ask something crazy. I want to know. Oh, uh, when I won, it was uh, twenty-eight million. Jesus. <laughs> tone it down, buddy. Why is he so? Loud? Twenty-eight million. Bro, if I had twenty-eight million right now, you man. Ooh, I'd go to Cheesecake oh, Factory. So. We didn't ask you. His forehead is massive. Did I mention that? When did you win the lottery and how old were you? I won in 1999 and I was 21 years old. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. How did you come into this like winning lottery ticket? Worked at a gas station, 40 to 60 hours a week for a little over minimum wage. 60 hours? I mean, I get if you were like dirt poor, but like 60 hours, bro? Who doing? No, never mind. And I sold it to myself while I was working. Were you somebody who played the lottery frequently? Like, was this your dream to win the lottery? Kind of a crazy story, but I actually had a that? dream about winning the lottery a few months before well, it happened in real life. So I, I was living in an efficiency sleeping on an air mattress, just trying to put myself through college. I had this very vivid dream that I had won the lottery. I woke up and it took a little bit to understand that it hadn't already happened. It was, it was that real. Uh -huh. And so I, after that point in time, I started playing the lottery a little more consistently because I believed that it, you know, it <laughs> could happen or that this it was likely to happen. To Some people think that's just coincidence, but you know, it, it happened. So what was it like winning it? Oh, it was so surreal. Right. I mean, it's one of the, the craziest things that, that's ever happened to me. I mean, it was, it was one minute you're working at a gas station, next right. minute you win millions of dollars. I mean, your life is turned on its head. It was crazy. I'm gonna just ask the audience this real quick. What would y'all do with $28 million? Respectfully, I, I wouldn't really do a lot with it. $28 million is crazy. Like, that's actually insane. 28 mil. I don't think I'd do much with that, <laughs> to be honest with you. Shoot, I'll take the 28 mil, though. But I don't know what I'd do with it. Because I don't really spend like that. I don't know. I mean, y'all seen some of, like, some of the people who win the lottery, lottery? They'd be, like, going broke in, like, two months. That would never be me for real, but, you know. What, what would y'all do? I want to know. Put in the comments. Can you recreate that? That energy? Can you like how? What did your scream sound like? Ah! 
Don't ever do that again. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's, I'm not doing it justice. It wasn't that, it wasn't that. What was the first thing? First of all, I wouldn't even scream if I won the lottery. I'd be like, what? That, that's all I do. I don't think I'd scream because if I screamed, that would not, that would just give me away. And then I'd actually have to go into hiding because no one's going to know that I won the lottery. Y'all are not going to know. You bought when you won the lottery. Like first thing, even if it was gas. Just what was the first transaction you made after you won the lottery? This is going to sound kind of funny, but it was actually a video game system. <laughs> it was the latest. Typical, typical white behavior. I'm... I don't even know where I was going with that. This greatest video game system, it was a N64, and I'm dating myself because that's <laughs> ancient. I, I was 21 years old. This was <laughs> 1999, and that thing at the time was awesome, and so that's the first thing is. I purchased. What's the most expensive thing that you've bought? I've never really been into material possessions too much. I've purchased some real estate, um, new vehicles. The nicest car I've ever purchased was probably a, a new Audi. That's the car you bought? Bro, this looks like something my mom would drive. Four. After you get that money, I feel like you have some kind of clarity from certain anxieties. Like you don't think about, you know, the bills you gotta pay. What was the thing you had to worry about after you got like that anxiety covered of having to survive? What was like the next anxiety? Uh, the next one was making sure that people didn't want to use me. Right. And, and trusting people. I mean, that was that was the next big anxiety. Okay, I'm sorry. I've been looking, I've just been thinking about this the entire thing. Why, why, the wall, is that necessary? I, I feel like that's not necessary at all. Like. What are they gonna do? They're not gonna rob this man at gunpoint, on camera. Like, they're not, what are they, wh why? You're not protecting his privacy. Like, bro, this man's probably been put on the news. Unless he's in a certain state where you don't have to disclose that you won the lottery. But like, still, he's on camera. And he was shown on camera in that photo, so. What are they? What is? What is this lady gonna do? Gertrude is gonna take all his cash on some city girl timing. Like what? What's she gonna do? Have you felt taken advantage of by friends or relatives? You know, people can come out of the woodwork, especially if you have to claim the prize publicly or if you choose to. That's mm -hmm. that's very real. That happened to me. I, I couldn't even go into a grocery store without people knowing who I was. So, Dang. So. That's why I probably would end up moving to a different city. Um, new state. Shoot, I might just move to Paris or something. I had to move. There were people, they wanted Italy, me to pay Perry. for their debt. I received um, stacks of letters from people. Never mind. Asking, pleading for money. And of course I... Pleading? Okay, see, I get it. He's, he's loaded, basically. But pleading, bro... You gotta be so down bad, I get it. But like, you, how down bad do you have to be, my dude? Like, that's ridiculous. Pleading? Felt sorry for, for everyone that has asked for money, I did. Why? Bro, I would say, ha ha ha, on Chief Keith, like, timing, bro. I don't care, <laughs> like, bro, why would I feel bad? You're, I'm up, you're not. I did a lot for other people. I'm joking, but. I did everything that I could. Not really. But I also had an understanding that I couldn't just give and give and give everything or, you know, I would go broke rather quickly because there's too much disparity in the world. Exactly. They view it as you get something for nothing and therefore I should be entitled to it. Some people feel that way. How yeah, I don't like people like that. Those kinds of people are just weird altogether. And frankly, I... Yeah, I don't know. Because if I won the lottery, no one's going to know where I'm at. Like, the moment I get that money, I'm getting a private jet or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking a first-class flight to a different country or something like that. Y'all ain't finna catch me. Nope. How sexy is your credit score right now? I, I mean, I can't complain. I can't complain about my, so it's my credit sexy. score. It's pretty sexy. It's pretty sexy. I would say so. Se sexy? Oh, 
Like yeah, Sports well, Illustrated cover is sexy. Yeah, wa yeah, walking down the, the runway. <laughs> How do you feel about like the taxes in the US, for example? Like, should, you know, people who have your amount of wealth be taxed? Well, first of all, if you win the lottery in the United States, that is, the initial payment when you go to the lottery office and claim the prize, the initial payment that you receive is heavily, heavily taxed. Yeah, they've taken off 20%, 50%, like this is a, a back of the store sale. Like, they, they be taxing. And I mean, he still got 15, 15, oh, never mind, hold on, I didn't read this. 12 mil, oh, dang. Hey, hold on, but that's still good, though. Because they, you know, it's part of income tax, and it's very, very high in the United States. And so there are lots of people that argue that it should not be so high. How much do you have left? Well, I can't publicly say that. Because why, why not? You just put out what you earned. Is that illegal? Because of a... Is that illegal? Let y'all let me know. Is that illegal? Non-disclosure agreement. No uh, oh, never mind. Never mind. Non-disclosure agreement. Non-disclosure agreement, which prevents. <laughs> okay, I got it the first time. Me from <laughs> talking about that. What do you do for a living now? I direct a, a podcast that I created on on YouTube, where I'm interviewing other people that I find fascinating, including some other lottery winners or people that have overcome the odds in life. It's it's more of a labor of love, I would say. So you don't need to be working? No. Why don't you retire Duh. now? You, you can argue that I retired when I was 21 years old. You know, it took me a while to understand, to try to understand what, what makes me happy. And I think for a lot of people might feel this way. Like when you wake up in the morning, are you looking forward to something? I couldn't just sit on a beach every day for forever and just, you know, I couldn't just sit on a beach every day. That is the stiffest pose. Like by far, that is the stiffest pose I've ever seen in my life. This is definitely, how old is he? Like 30 something? I mean, yeah, this is a typical. He low key looks like one of my friends. You know who you are. <laughs> he looks just, he looks like him in like 10 years in this photo. No, wait, let me show you, hold on. No, like 30. <laughs> 30 years. <laughs> I love you. You know who you are. Every day for forever and just, you know, <laughs> drink Mai Tais and Coronas or whatever, or you know, just be a beach bum. Some people, maybe they could, but for me, I needed a purpose. I needed a reason to wake up in the morning and look forward to life. Do you think mm. that um, winning the lottery has like exponentially like added to your happiness? I Should do for me. It would for me. <laughs> I think that I mean, it's allowed, in the sense that it's allowed me to pursue my dreams without stressing so much about financial mm -hmm. obligations. It has. That's what I need. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. But, but it hasn't changed me as a person. I mean, if I had not won the lottery, I still would have pursued film and journalism and pursuing my dreams because 99.9% .9 of everyone that's ever achieved their dreams has not won the lottery and you absolutely don't have to. But it can help. Yeah. Facts, facts. Do you feel like you deserve the money that you won? I do. I do. I mean, I'm forever grateful, though. I don't. Do I deserve it more than someone on the street? No. Uh, you know, not necessarily. You know, after I, when I had. Why didn't you just say no? Initially won, I, I mean, the exhilaration is through the roof. You know, so unbelievably excited. But most of my peers and my family were not at that place. And so once the exhilaration wore off, I even felt a sense of guilt for having one. And I came across this thing called sudden wealth syndrome, which I would have no idea what the heck that even means. I looked it up and I was like, that is really funny because I feel like I'm experiencing a lot of these types of things. Knowing what you know now, would you recommend other people to buy a lottery ticket? No, gambling is bad. Do not do that. That's not good. Get, or would you recommend other ways to make money? If you have now, if you have the money to buy a lottery ticket, by all means, do it. But I would not recommend it. <laughs> well, obviously, you know, it's very. <laughs> well, my my advice, my advice is to 
Only, if you play the lottery, only spend what you can afford. Yeah, exactly. I still wouldn't do it, though. I've never played the lottery before. I don't know. I've always had a dream where, like, if... I've always daydreamed about this. If I just, like, the first time I get a lottery ticket, I win the jackpot or something like that. <laughs> Y'all ever had that kind of dream? But the risk-reward payoff, I mean, is huge. If you're spending $2 on a ticket and you hit millions of dollars, I mean, that's a pretty big deal. But never spend more than you can afford and have fun with it. Mm -hmm. And remember that you do have a chance to win if you play, because that, that is the truth. And that's, that's my advice. I mean, really you can't like win if you don't play. And I hate to be that guy, but it's true. Would you guys like to meet? I sure. would love to. Okay, that's why. Wait, but why, why was that hidden in the first place? Wait, why was that hidden in the first place? I, whatever. Meet Timothy after hearing a soothing voice. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> That's a thing, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hola. How you doing? Yo, bro, yeah, gnarly. Nice, yeah, nice to meet you. What? Where are his shoes at? What are the odds? Where, where are his shoes at? Hi. How you doing? Yo, bro, Wait, yeah, gnarly. Y'all nice. yeah. look oh, right there. <laughs> Wait, why, why can't they wear their shoes? Why do they take their shoes off? Y'all look too comfortable in this studio. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. nice to meet you. What? I ain't gonna lie. I probably smell in there. What are the odds you buy me a car? Zero. You're broke. Stay broke. You know. Out of one hundred. Oh. Uh, Out of one. He's he keeping it real. One hundred. All right. One, two, two three, three, 57. 40. Okay. 40. Dang, he even giving you no guarantee. That's crazy. I wanted a Honda Civic. Mm. A, Hon a Honda Civic. A Honda Civic. Girl, dream big. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Actually, this fit. No, she looks like she would either drive a pickup truck or a really nice. A, like a really nice Prius. Yeah. Three. Three fifty-seven. 40. Okay. I wanted a Honda Civic. No, fifty-seven is crazy. Mm. <laughs> that was close. That was so close. <laughs> okay, that this this video was actually kind of entertaining. This is actually pretty entertaining. I ain't gonna lie. I like this. This video is this video is lit. I ain't gonna lie. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> if y'all like this video, hit the like button and, uh, subscribe. Um, I'm, I'm gonna start streaming soon. Just cause I, I really like, I, I like doing stream. I wanna see what y'all, y'all saying and stuff like that. So, um, hit the like button, you know what I'm saying? 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 And, uh, thanks for watching. Hope y'all like this video. No, I hope you like that.